Hey, um, this is another kind of guide on how to create a three layer stencil um, from a photo. Uh, obviously the last video was probably poor quality because it was too big. So hopefully this one's a bit better because it zoomed in more. Um, so I'm going to say as I said before, uh, it's just a tutorial on how to make a three layer stencil using three colours from a photograph. I'll just show you the kind of thing that I'm going to be showing you how to do. So it's that kind of thing that's going to be your kind of end product. Now I'm going to be using this application here, GIMP. Um, so I'm just going to open that right up and uh, obviously find any image you want. Um, I've already got my image so I'm going to open that up straight away. So it, it, it loads pretty fast. So, so I'm going to go to file, open. And um, obviously go to your image. Okay, so I've got my image. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the layer and duplicate the layer. Um, so you've got two copies. Um, so first of all, uh, you want to go to the layer, colours and uh, go to threshold and um, yeah, muck about with the threshold you want it to be slightly darker than normal it's so more dark than, than white um, and once you're happy with that you can just click ok and that's the layer so then you want to go to the wee visible icon here and click it off so you can work on the layer before make sure this layer is selected um, otherwise you won't see the changes and then, same with this, except you make this one lighter. So, um, yeah, next you want to go and colour in this black area. So, you want to select by colour and uh, select all the black areas. And then choose your colour scheme. I think I'll go for red. Um, and then go for a dark version of that colour because you want to fill in the dark, darker image, the black with the darker colour. Um, so then you can go to edit and fill with foreground colour and uh, it'll fill. Then back up to, if you want to see your image, select none and you get the best image. So then you can click off this visible layer, move on to your second layer. Again, select by colour but select the lighter sections. And when you go to fill it with the colour, make the colour lighter. So you're filling the lighter areas with the lighter colour. Okay. Um, then you want to apply on this layer. Doesn't matter which layer, I don't think add a layer mask. Black full transparency and add it. And that light show through to it. Then you can go up to normal multiply. And then delete your mask, and then um, it should show through. Um, now, as I said in the, the first video, if you uh, want to print it out like that, that's fine. I don't have any problem with that. Um, but if you like me and you want to save ink, uh, the best thing you want to do is go to layer, color. Sorry, colors desaturate and desaturate it. Obviously, remember to desaturate both layers and just go for the lightness, like it's just fine. And I'll bring it to black and greys. So is that helpful if you want to save colour ink or if you've uh, got a black and white printer? So, yeah. Um, and you can print it off like that, and I'm sure you'll find tons of tutorials on how to cut out and spray your stencils. Obviously, you're going to need to make three copies of paper with this. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, just uh, hit me up with a comment and uh, I hope to get back to you pretty soon. Okay, hopefully this is better quality than the last video. My life be like. Wow. Yeah. My life be like.
like 